Wait, if Gilman and the WLA are one in the same, who were you fighting against? They were pitting their forces against each other. Rue, Gilman guys on the ground floor have no clue about the World Liberation Army. I didn't know. Fuck, you're above me and you didn't know. I don't see the point. Why not just go in and take the weapons? They needed a smokescreen. Rue, the only reason Gilman knew about the weapons was because they were hired to help secure and transport them. Another Gilman squad was moving in, acting on orders to do just that amidst the so-called terrorist attack. Operation Strike Zone was in place at the end of the attack, but Bull's mission was to get to the weapons first and eliminate all opposition. Including the World Liberation Army soldiers and the other Gilman operatives. Bastards!
Let's get the hell out of here! Chopper on our six! Strike two to Monarch! Extraction failed! Requesting updated coordinates! Monarch, repeat! We've got an enemy chopper and hot downs in pursuit! We need immediate assistance! Over! Strike two! Bring the coordinated your extraction! We love the extraction! We need immediate support! never mentioned in any report after the incident. The UN's not about to admit that they were storing chemical weapons in Venice. So Gilman secured the weapons and then launched them on Tokyo to sabotage the peace conference? Which was prompted by what? A cyber attack on the Chinese surveillance system last month, right? Now, I know I don't have proof, but I'm almost certain Gilman was behind that too. But why? Gather world leaders into one room and then... Don't you see it, Rue? They're trying to start fucking World War III. We need to find out exactly what they're planning. And we need to stop them. Dropping in on Bull and Saunders' meeting is our only chance. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 